We're picking up over here. We have to walk all around. So ladies and gentlemen, you haven't missed anything. Tell us the significance of these wagons. Well, the significance is these are the diesel trucks that were used in the turn of this century up until uh, the 1930s. They hauled about four tons uh, of uh, freight, whatever it was, grain or wood. Uh, lots of wood was cut in this area, hauled to the railroads, uh, taken so to the city. These were the first trucks? These were the first trucks, okay. right. And over here we have a buzz saw. Before there were chainsaws, you would cut the wood as long as you could, got all your kids out there and you'd hook a power sweep or of course we had tractors when I was a little boy and you'd buzz up your wood. Good. A broadcaster was really useful, used throughout the western United States, especially in this area. It was a, it was a, they put the seed grain in the top here, oats, wheat, barley, whatever it was. Horses would pull it and the guy would stand here with some sacks and this would throw the seed out on the ground then they'd work the seed in the ground called a broadcaster. Wonderful. Uh, this water wagon was towed behind three or four of these other wagons and this was the water of the horses. Yeah. And later this would also be taken to the steam engines when they were thrashing. That looked like two or three hundred gallons. Yeah, that was just rebuilt uh, just two years ago by the Central Coast woodworkers that volunteer their work here. Very good. Yeah. Come on in. Chip, watch this door. Do you want to show this still? No, uh, we'll just keep, we'll go all the way in. <laughs> we're not going to get all the stuff. <laughs> we're standing inside now and behind us is a display of tools. Give me a quick overview of what the history behind these. How old is this stuff up here? Oh, I, I'm sure this, most of the stuff is from the turn of the century. It's just carpenter tools, bits and braces that you see and uh, different things. But it's from the turn of the century. So it's There's over a, 100 years old. And some monkey wrenches in there too. Okay. There's left-handed monkey wrenches and right-handed monkey wrenches. October okay. 8, 1966. What's the significance of that? Well, that's the year we had Pioneer Day on in 1931. The beginning of the depression, nobody had money, and so uh, the Episcopal uh, pastor here in town, Dean Thackeray, said, "Let's just put on a free thing for everybody in the community." And so, have a parade and, and uh, had horse races on, and go. barbecue, and we still do that today. Okay, look at all this stuff in here. Here's We're not going to spend any time in here. Come on, let's go this way. Uh, yeah. The reason is, is because there is so much stuff. You need to come see it. You need to come yeah. to this museum and talk to a docent and understand the history of this stuff. Yeah. We're just going to walk mean, along. I mean, there's a yeah, wheelwright we'll... stuff here to make wheels. There's grinders. Yeah. There's forges. There's my, there's everything. my safe with gold yeah. in it. Here's a, a U.S. Army wagon that was found in uh, uh, Parkfield this last year. Really? Found this out last came year? From, yeah. Just the, this, this farmers out there had it. Just an old wagon. It turned out to be a... Uh, army wagon used probably from uh, 1843 until the 1920s. Wow! And uh, they uh, collected, and then of course we have different buggies. Now the significance of this buggies here is uh, shows the transportation that we used before we had automobiles. Around and on the, the other side we have some of the beginning of these the early beginning automobiles. Of the trucks, right. 18, 1918, 1918 white. 1931. And there's the forerunner of the Peterbilt diesel. There you go. Yeah, the old flagel. <laughs> yeah, see, it, around here it took it took half of your crop to feed your animals because you need 32 horses on your harvesters, and so you went to tractors as soon as you could. What what did this cost to build back in the day? You know, I wouldn't have any idea, but I know that this one right here we've been offered uh, seventy-five thousand dollars. This was Phoebe Hearst. Uh, uh, wagon that was used in San Francisco. And this was the actual uh, uh, stage that was used to Shandon. And of course, there was a lot of uh, what do you call piano box buggies they used to go to school. And the fire department uh, from 1969. And that's a class of 69. That's a 1940 uh, Chevy fire truck that was used in our town till it was retired. In the the class of uh, high school, class of 1969. And you told me this was donated by a, a teacher here. This was a, yeah, this is a 1949 uh, Studebaker that was uh, driven by one of our longtime teachers here. He and I retired the same year that I did. He taught 43 years, I had 38 years. But this wow. is uh, Jay Farron's car. And then, of course, here's the Model T. Well, this is the pickup truck, so yeah, Ford Motor unique. Company should be the proud bed, of that. The, the bed back there is unique. And, and also, if you can film back there, you see an old uh, pressure tank used for the fire department. Cool. 
And uh, here's another Model T with a, uh, it's interesting, the temperature gauge for the radiator is right there on the cap. <laughs> Isn't that something? You didn't have to put uh, your finger something. in there. Did you ever put your finger in a hot I did. Water? I did. Now we got brand, wait a minute, we got the barbed wire. Let's go here, back let's, here for just a minute.